Hi, it's Mrs. Guffrey. Today we are exploring the idea of volume by building and counting unit cubes. And this lesson is going to be based off the Great Minds Module 5, Lesson 1. And some materials you are going to need are a pencil, paper, and cubes if you have it. Also, throughout the lesson, I'm going to be saying pause. That means I want you to pause and do the work um, with me and then continue. So take a look at these two columns, the left column and the right column. How are these two columns the same or different? Go ahead and hit pause and jot down how they're the same and different. I'm sure a lot of you were talking about how the column on the left is flat and the column on the right seems to be almost 3D. Well, you would be right, because the column on the left we call 2D shapes because they're flat. They only have what D stands for is two dimensions. So let's take a look at this square. What two dimensions does this square have? Well, it has a length and a width. But 3D is different because all of a sudden, if we look, it not only has a length and a width, but it also has height, which we can see right here. And because it has this height, we call it a 3D shape. So again, this is a 2D shape on the left because it has two dimensions, length and width. And a 3D shape has three dimensions. It also has length and it has width, but now it has height that's tall. So if we know how to find the inside of a 2D shape, and we know that from fourth grade because we know that's called area, and it's a space inside a flat shape. So if I were to look here, at this square, and it's four by four, I could find the space inside by counting all of the squares inside this, um, inside this big square, or I could do length times width, and it's four times four, which would give me 16. And we know that the unit becomes squared. Sometimes I like to think of that as it becomes squared because it is a 2D shape. So if we know how to find the inside of a 2D shape, how can we use that to help us determine the space inside of a 3D shape? And that's going to be our essential question that we're going to be thinking about um, throughout the next few lessons. Okay, we're gonna start by building a house. So if you ever build a house, a house needs to have a foundation that it's built on. So with your pencil, I want you to shade in four squares connected. So we're gonna make space like this. two by two, and we're just gonna shade that in just like it's a foundation. Now, is this a 2D shape or a 3D shape right now? Well, it's 2D, right? Because it's flat. Now, using our cubes, we're gonna build the first floor. And it would look something like this. Think of the first four cubes as the ground floor of our building, okay? But now we want to build a second floor by putting four cubes on top. How many total cubes would there now be? I hope you think there'd be eight. Let's look. 
question, where is my eight cubes? Because I don't see eight cubes right here. Well, in order to have this height, and we can see back here this cube, in order for it to be this high, that means there has to be one underneath it. So really, when I added my second floor, I didn't change anything about my first floor. So there's, get a different pen here, there's still four cubes on our ground floor, and now four cubes on our second floor. Even though we can't see it, the fact that this cube is sitting high that means it must also have another cube underneath it. Also, I want to point out something to you that, get a different color, even this cube right here, this is actually all one cube. We're just seeing three sides of it. Where in this cube down here, because it's on the bottom floor, we don't only see two sides of it because we don't see the top of this cube. Why don't we see the top of this cube? Because this cube is sitting on top of it. So there is now a total of eight cubes. What if I put a third floor of four cubes? How many total cubes would I have? Let's look. I would have 12 cubes. Again, these floors haven't changed. There's four on this floor, four on this floor, and four on this floor. Floor, not four. And so if I were to then go and add those up, this building would have a space of 12 cubes. Now, these are special types of cubes, and we've used these cubes in school before. They are called cubic centimeters, because if you were to actually measure this cube that we had at school, each side would be worth one centimeter. So we call it a cubic centimeter. And we can use centimeter cubes to measure the volume or the amount of space inside a solid. So just like with area, where we, we could count all the little squares inside um, the square, here we can use centimeter cubes to measure the inside of the solid. Now, at the, originally, if we look all the way back here, we could say the house originally had a volume of four centimeters cubed. Now this three, remember I put this three up here to show it's a 3D shape. So there's four centimeters cubed. Is this the only way I could make a shape that has a volume of four centimeters cubed? I want you to think about what other way could I configure these four cubes so that it would have a volume of four centimeters cubed? Go ahead and hit pause, and if you have cubes, can you build a figure that has a volume of four centimeters cubed? Let's take a look. Let's take a look at this first figure right here. Does this figure have a volume of four centimeters cubed? It does, because if you were to actually look below this cube, you can see how it's sitting high. That means there's another cube sitting down here. So one, two, three, four. This has four centimeters cubed. What about this one? What do you notice about here? 
I see here that it has one, two, three, but this third one's sitting high, so there must be one underneath it. This also has a volume of four cubic centimeters, or four centimeters cubed. And then this one also has one, two, three, four cubes. So we can also say that is has a volume of four cubic centimeters, which is the same as saying four centimeters cubed. Take a look at this shape. Remember, the volume is the amount of space inside the shape. How many cubes are here? Go ahead and hit pause if you haven't yet. Let's see, one, two, three, four, but this one's sitting higher than this one, and it looks like it's one level up, almost like a building, so it has a base of four plus one more to be five centimeters cubed. So, your job today is to answer these two questions. Question one, I want you to find the total volume of each figure and explain how you counted the cubes. Now, be sure to include the unit. So, take a look at the picture. There are six different figures. I, and down here is a chart. Now, if you don't have a chart, that's fine. You can just write A, put what volume you found for A, and tell me how you counted it. B, look at B, how many total cubes? What is the volume? How did you count it? Be sure to include your unit. So your unit here is gonna be centimeters cubed. So this should be after each one of your volumes. And then number two, Joe and May both have 12 centimeter cubes. Joe builds a figure six cubes high and two cubes wide. This is Joe's. Okay. May also has 12 centimeter cubes, but she builds a figure six cubes long. Oops, I didn't finish this. Two cubes wide. And this is a picture of May's at the bottom. Joe says his figure has a greater volume because his is higher than May's. Do you agree or disagree with Joe? Now you can do this work on paper and then take a picture and upload it to Seesaw or you can do it straight on Seesaw. I look forward to seeing your work.